<coughs> the owner of a camel who does not pay what is due on it that on the day of resurrection many more would come and the owner would be made to sit on a soft sandy ground and they would trample him with their feet and hooped and no owner of the cattle who does not pay what is due on them But on the day of resurrection many more would come and he would be made to sit on the soft sandy ground and would be gored by their horns and trampled under their feet. And no owner of the goats and sheep who does not pay what is due on them that means obligatory charity but many more would come on the day of resurrection and he would be made to sit on a soft sandy ground and they would gore him with their horns and trample him under their hoops. And no owner of the treasure who does not pay its due that means zakat but his treasure would come on the day of resurrection like a bald snake and would pursue him with its mouth open and when it would come near he would run away from it and he would be called thus Take your treasure which you concealed, for I do not need it. When he would find no way out, he would put his hand in his mouth, and it would gnaw it like a he camel. A man said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. What is due on camels? He said, Milking them near water and landing of bucket. or lending its male for mating with a she camel and providing it as a right for the sake of Allah. Aladis Muslim Sharif, book number 5, hadith number 2166.